Don't test approved media. Make sure everybody smashing their subscription buttons, all right? Don't be a ninja watcher. That's a person that be creeping and watching. Hit that notification bell off in the corner and be part of that notification mafia. Mafia occasion that is. So every time I drop, you guys get notified. Also, let me get a thumbs up for this video, which is the like button. All right, you guys, this is the fifth installment of Business One-on-One -on -one with LOTS Approved, meaning there was four prior to this. If you haven't seen the first four, go on my YouTube channel, LOTS Approved Media. So hit the subscribe button first before you even go there. Hit that subscription button and go check out the first four installments. They're in synchronized order. Once again, this is the fifth installment of Business One-on-One. -on -one. Now, this one is titled, Never Work for a Person or Business Entity That's Not Helping You in the Development of Your Craft or skill set in order for you to open your own business. Once again, I'm repeat this. Never ever work for a person or business entity that's not helping you in the development of your craft or skill set in order for you to open your own business. Now, in the realm of business, when you first open your business, there's a lot of money being wasted. Why? Because you might purchase, for example, you might purchase a piece of equipment. Now this equipment turns out to be outdated. You never knew that because you didn't have the knowledge. You didn't do the research, nor did you possess the wisdom, right? Also, you might purchase a service for your business. And this service, come to find out, it doesn't have all the options that you need. You're lacking in certain resources. Now you have to do another contract with another service company in order to provide those options for you. In turn, you're losing money in the process. Now, this is what happens when you work with somebody else. Now, when you work with somebody else, you get the luxury of seeing the ins and outs of the company. You learn the dynamics, the pros and the cons. You might even get to ask the business owner what financial obstacles did he face when he first opened that company. This is considered a luxury. Because like I said, when you open a business, there's a lot of money being wasted in the beginning, right? Two, you may have to work for free. Don't be scared by working for free. We all want to get paid on the job, right? But sometimes it might be in your best benefit to work for free, especially if that's the only option. Why? Certain knowledge that you gain in the process of working is priceless. It's worth more than any minimum wage at any end of the week check that you could have got. Because one piece of knowledge could be the difference between you wasting thousands of dollars on your business within the first five to 10 years versus you making all the proper steps and utilizing your money correctly and reaching your goals in a timely fashion, okay? So once again, sometimes it's to your benefit if the only option is to work for free, to work for free. It's called internship because you get the luxury of asking that person what was the pros and cons, what were the obstacles that they faced financially when they opened their business. A wise man learns from other people's mistakes is what I'm trying to say. A wise man learns from other people people's mistakes. You don't have to waste money like that company wastes money. And that's a luxury. You guys, once again, never work for a person or business entity that's not helping you in the development of your craft or skill set in order for you to open your own business. LOTS Approved Media, I'm out. Make sure you guys are smashing that subscription button, hit that notification bell off in the corner, and let's get a thumbs up for this video. Click!